time now for a look through the global headlines we're following on this Monday morning. For that, we turn to Eunice Kim, standing by at the uh, News Center for us. Good morning, Eunice. Happy Monday to you, Mark. A ceasefire is mostly still holding in eastern Ukraine. The truce kicked in early Sunday, as agreed by the leaders of Ukraine, Russia, Germany, and France days before. Correspondents on the ground said they had heard a noticeable de escalation of shelling and artillery. The AFP citing a military spokesman reports Ukrainian troops did come under fire some 60 times in the early hours of the ceasefire. The point of concern remains to be the strategic transport hub of Dubaltsevev, an area that pro-Russia separatists argued was theirs and exempt from the truce. Some 8,000 Ukrainian soldiers are encircled there and their fate remains unclear. Kiev's presidential office said the leaders of the four-way peace summit engaged in a conference call on Sunday in which they agreed the truce extends to that besieged town. Analysts say the first 48 hours will be critical in the fate of the Ukraine ceasefire.